you can understand the geology in Glacier pretty easily if you just think of answering three basic questions. The first one being, where did all this rock come from in the first place? And our rock in Glacier is primarily sedimentary rock, and it's old rock, it's Precambrian rock. And so it's rock that was deposited as layers of sediment in a, a warm, shallow sea. The second question would be, how do we get mountains? Because layers of sediment seem like it would be flat. So the second step in the geology has to do with uplifting and moving of those layers of rock. Basically a time when North America didn't look anything like it does right now. We were closer to an ocean that was off to what's the west right now. That plate was colliding with this continental plate, caused all sorts of disruption, pressure from the west, caused those layers to be pushed from the west, eventually get folded and warped and break along a fault line. And it caused many, many layers to, to ride over the corresponding layers, creating the first mountains here. And that's why on the eastern side of the park, you can really see a distinctive edge to, to the Rocky Mountains here. And then the third step, because those mountains probably wouldn't have gotten us designated as a national park. They wouldn't have been all the, that dramatic. So the third step is answering the question, how did we get the incredible degree of drama in this landscape? And that's where the Ice Age glaciers come in. And again, glaciers confuse people. But it's really simple, whether we're talking about an Ice Age glacier or one of our remaining small alpine glaciers today. To get a glacier, you simply have to have a place where more snow falls every winter than can completely melt during the summers. So over the years, that snow builds up, it accumulates, it becomes quite dense. And once you have a certain amount of dense accumulated ice, there's so much weight and pressure on the bottom layers that they actually have plasticity and start to flow with the, the, the mass of the ice and with gravity. So the Ice Age glaciers had their, their source up in the, the mountains, what's the continental divide here today, and it was the movement of those Ice Age glaciers that slowly carved out this dramatic scenery that we have today.